Hello, this is Shannon with Dogwood Crochet, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet these dogwood flowers. And these flowers can be used to sew onto other crochet projects, or you can just keep them on their own, but I've left the ends attached so that they can be attached to other things, but you can also just weave in the ends and leave them as is. So let's get started. So first what you'll need to make these is some medium worsted weight number four size yarn in these two colors, green and white. And then you'll also need a four millimeter crochet hook. So I'm going to start with the green yarn and I'm going to make a magic circle. So this is how I make my magic circle. I wrap it around my index finger three times and then I place my hook under all three and pull up the last one, just like that. And then you're going to chain one. Then we're going to place four single crochet into the circle. One, two, three, and four. So we now have four single crochet. We're going to pull the circle tight. So now we're going to slip stitch to the first stitch in the circle. So I'm going to insert my hook into this first stitch. And then instead of slip stitching with the green, we're actually going to change colors now. I'm going to get the white yarn. And so I have the loop on my hook and then I also have my hook through that first stitch of the round. So now instead of yarning over and pulling through with the green, we're going to add the white. So I'm going to place the white on my hook just kind of like this and form a loop with my fingers. And then I'm going to pull the white through the first stitch of the round. And then I'm going to pull the white through the loop that's on my hook. So that just finished our first round and we changed colors to the white. So now what I like to do at this point is I do like to tie these together so that my work isn't coming apart as I'm crocheting. So I'm going to flip my work over. I'm going to get this white tail that's sticking up here. And then I'm just going to tie it to the green uh, strand of yarn that we were working with. This will make sure that everything stays in place as we continue working on the petals. So I'm just going to double knot that. Okay. Since that's knotted, I'm going to go ahead and cut my green yarn since we don't need that anymore. And you can leave a longer or shorter tail depending on if you plan to attach it to something or not. Okay, so we just finished the color change. Now I'm going to get the white back on my hook. And what we're going to do next is we're going to 
chain three. So one, two, three. Then we're going to place one double crochet into the first stitch. So yarn over, insert our hook into that first stitch where we just did the color change. Yarn over, pull the loop. Yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So we just did a chain three and a double crochet. Now we're going to do a treble crochet into that same stitch. So we're going to yarn over twice, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that was our treble crochet. Now we're going to do one more double crochet into that same stitch. Okay. So, so far this has all been in that first stitch of round one where we did our color change. We did a chain three, one double crochet, one treble crochet, and now one double crochet. So now we're going to chain two and slip stitch into that same first stitch. Okay, now we're going to work into the second stitch and we're basically just going to repeat those steps that we just did. So you might wanna move your pedal aside a little bit just to make sure that you're seeing the second stitch. So here's the second, third, fourth. So you'll have four stitches in round one. So we're going to slip stitch into the second stitch and then we're going to chain three and then do one double crochet into that same stitch and then one treble crochet into the same stitch and then one double crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to chain two and slip stitch into that same stitch. So that was our second petal. So now we have two stitches left in the round for two more petals. So we're going to Find that third stitch and we're going to slip stitch into that. Then we're going to repeat the steps that we just did for these other two petals. So we're going to chain three and then we're going to double crochet into that third stitch. Then we're going to treble crochet into that same stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the same stitch. Then we're going to chain two and slip stitch into that same stitch. All right, so now we have one stitch left in the round and that's perfect because we have one petal left to do. So we're going to slip stitch into that fourth stitch. Then we're going to chain three. And we're going to double crochet and then treble crochet. And then double crochet one more time. 
I'm going to chain two and slip stitch into that same stitch. So now we have four petals and then we're just going to cut our yarn. Once again, you might want your yarn tail to be similar length to the other ones for ease of application. And then we're going to fasten off. So just going to yarn over and pull through that last loop that was on my hook and then pull that tight. And then, like I said earlier, you might want to weave in these ends and then cut them off, or you might want to secure them a little bit more and then use them to sew the dogwood flower onto something else. But either way, that's basically the foundation for how to crochet this dogwood flower. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials. Thank you!